So the next thing we're going to talk about today is the search for prospects feature. And this is what's been called Zillow for um, businesses. Basically what it is, is it's a prospecting map with contact detail and estimated business values. We have over 33,000, 33 million businesses in our database. So today let's type in Boston, Massachusetts into the location search. So in Boston and the suburbs that are showing on the map here, there's 248,000 businesses that we have in our database. Now, it's a bit of a large number to, to truly really wrap your head around and effectively market to. So the our users that have been very successful with this tool have taken a very surgical approach to it. Um, and they've selected industries that they either have a lot of clients in and they're comfortable speaking to those business owners or industries that they'd like to break into. So let's say you wanted to add some clients in the uh, dental industry. Maybe you already have some clients on one side of town. You think you can get some warm introductions um, and you just like to really generate a list. So there are 3,915 dentists in this, this surrounding area in Boston. So let's zoom it in to just the city. Now that's gonna trim the list down to 111,000. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna say, only show me businesses that we have pre-valued at over $850,000. Now that's been trimmed to 78, 78 dentists. Now we have this list here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to talk about what we have as far as data goes for businesses and what it means. So let's select, as you can see, you can click on the data as you need it. Let's select Mark Haddad. Keep scrolling here on this list. Okay, so we'll talk about Boston Dental. So as far as Boston Dental goes, we have a valuation estimate at about $1 million, as well as an A contact rating. So what the first thing I'll tell you is the valuation estimate is just that. It's we've leveraged publicly available data sources to estimate what we think a business is worth. Now, we're going to let you know how confident we are in that number. If you see this telescope, it means we're 35% or less of a probability of accuracy. In this case, we have binoculars, means we're 55% or better. In that case, we probably have an okay amount of data that we're comfortable saying this, this, is, this could be the valuation. This could be what the business is worth. If you see a microscope, means we're 70% or better, means we're pretty confident that this is going to be the uh, very close to the valuation. But the letter grade is what represents how confident we are the contact detail is up to date. So in this case at Boston Dental, we think the key contact would be Elias, they're the manager, telephone number, here's their email address. We also have the business's address, number of employees, year established, and their legal status. Um, as you can see, um, you know, I have just for dentists, we have 78. This works all around the country. So here on the West Coast, type in San Diego, and let's say you want to focus on I'm going to focus on medical equipment and supplies manufacturing. So 351, and then, you know, here's the list. Now, one thing I want to make everybody aware of is I trimmed the list based on estimated value just to show you that that can be done. I wouldn't necessarily ignore businesses in here with, with low values. You know, this is 28,000. More than likely, it just means we don't have a lot of data on that company, but it doesn't mean they're not a company you, that, that's not worth approaching and, um, you know, leveraging the business valuation. So that is how the map works.